A cruise passenger is stuck in the Bahamas, not allowed to reboard the ship. We're going to share with you what we know on that, but we also have a lot of other cruise headlines. I've walked through these with other people that's really tied into the cruise community, and they were not aware of most of these, and there are some really interesting headlines. So we're going to give you all the details, and it's all coming up. <laughs> Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. So subscribe if you love cruising. All right, cruise passengers stuck in the Bahamas. And on top of that, we have eight other headlines. So we're going to dive right into this. We don't like to waste your time. So we're going to go through them one after another. We're going to give you the meat and potatoes of what you need to know to get you up to date on the cruise news. Number one. The CDC has promised that they will release the details on their new cruise program this week. So this is going to be very interesting to see what all this involves. As most of you probably know, on January 15th, just a few days ago, the CDC allowed the conditional sell order to expire, and they're replacing it with a voluntary COVID risk mitigation program. And this week, we'll be finding out what that entails. Number two. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line has said that they will begin selling again to Labadee. And I have no clue if I pronounced that right, but it's this word that is right here. It's located in Haiti. It's operated sort of like a private island, though it's not. It is a private resort that has exclusive rights given to Royal Caribbean Cruise Line through 2050. And the Harmony of the Seas will be the first ship selling there in approximately two years. It's going to be going there on January 27th. Now, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line did post this week some jobs they are looking to fill for operations in Labadee. Now, one of those was in inventory management, which is sort of what I'm involved in in my regular work in the world. So, hey, it's an option. You guys chime in below and let us know if that's something that uh, we should consider. Hey, Kelly, do you want to move to Haiti? I think she wants us to stay in Atlanta. Number three, American Cruise Lines has announced that they are doubling their fleet. Now, normally we don't report a whole lot on river cruise lines, but this was pretty interesting. American Cruise Lines has announced Project Blue, and in this project, they're going to build 12 identical sister ships that are made as such they can go about any of the waterways in the U.S. They're planning to spread these throughout the U.S. to give loads of options for river cruises. These cruise ships will hold about 105 passengers. It will hold about 50 staff on board those. And hey, it would be a pretty neat experience. We've not done a river cruise, have you? What did you think about it? Are you interested? Would it be something you consider? Chime in below and let us know. Number four, bookings have opened on MSC's newest ship. It is the MSC Seascape. It is scheduled to be delivered in November and will begin doing sailings out of Miami in December of this year. It will offer two different itineraries. Both of those will be seven nights. One will be an Eastern Caribbean itinerary and the other will be going to the Western Caribbean. So look, if you love MSC or just love selling on new ships, the bookings have opened. So this is the time to get on those first sellings. And if you would like help with any of your bookings, we would love to help you. It's no extra cost to you. Down in the video description, we have a link where you can contact us and you will be speaking directly with Kelly. We don't have any of that outsourced, so we'd love to hear from you. Number five, Shaquille O'Neal, the chief fun officer for Carnival Cruise Lines, has been helping the Miami Heat fans to get thunderstruck. Now, thunderstruck is a new word for Carnival Cruise Line for 2022, and it ties into their whole branding of Choose Fun. So anytime they say that you have fun on a Carnival cruise ship, they want to say that you have been thunderstruck. And what happened with Shaquille O'Neal, he took to the court, surprised the fans there at a Miami Heat game, asked them if they were ready to get thunderstruck. They had parachutes with t-shirts come down, and on those they had a QR code where people could sign up to get updates, and also one person got a free cruise and commitment of both Shaquille O'Neal's and Carnival's 50th birthdays coming up in March of this year. Number six, Costa Cruises has been named as the official cruise line of the Ryder Cup that will take place in 2023 in Italy. And I think the super interesting thing about this is that they're also getting really innovative. And Costa Cruises is now also launching a golf and cruise package. And with this, they're going to allow those cruisers that are really interested in golf, they'll have the opportunity to play golf at some of the most beautiful courses that are in Spain, France, and Italy. They're going to have one of two golf packages that they can sign up for as an add-on to their cruise. And with that, they'll get either three or four green fees as part of their cruise 
screws package. How much is this going to cost? Well, I'm sure it's not going to be cheap, but we're going to know soon. They're going to begin opening these sellings on February 1st, so here coming up in just a few weeks, and it's going to be for sellings that take place as early as May of 2022. So these are things that are going to be happening here very soon. It's going to be interesting to find more details on what these are exactly, which clubs are going to be going to, and how much is this kind of cruise going to cost. Speaking of Europe, number seven, Spain is going to be requiring U.S. visitors to have a COVID booster shot prior to entry. So if you have travel that's planned there either by cruise or airline, make sure you check with your airline or your cruise line before you go to make sure that you have what you need uh, in order to complete that trip or make your decisions to cancel. Number eight, a cruise passenger is stuck in the Bahamas, not allowed to reboard. Now there's a lot of open questions with this. We're going to share with you what we know and we're also going to give you a link to the direct source. But what it sounds like happened is there is a couple of cruise passengers that were together. It seems that they must have got off the ship there in the Bahamas and for some reason they took a COVID test while they were ashore there. They became positive and then the report is that the cruise ship would not allow them to reboard the ship and they're there now in isolation at a hotel in the Bahamas. Not sure when they're going to be able to leave that. We got all of this from a video from Inside Edition. It's got well over 150,000 views at this point. It shares not only the story of this lady, but also of another lady that was not on a cruise ship, but just happened to be vacationing in Jamaica, and they're sort of stuck there. It also has a portion of a video of a comedian who was on board another cruise ship, and it was in isolation, and she shared a little bit about her time in that. So we'll link that on our end screen so you can go over and check that video out directly. All right, that's it for now. The next video will be coming out soon, so be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. But God bless y'all. Hope you have a super night.